Hello, welcome back. Today I'll show you how to crochet this Bernat cardigan. Uh, the size, I went for a medium size, but it fits my little sister and she's a small. She just uses uh, use it as an oversized cardigan and it also fits people that are large. It's just a more fit-like pattern. So actually you can use it for most people. It's uh, yeah, it's so comfortable and soft and I just love the feeling of it. I will go forward very slowly and explain everything I'm doing from the beginning to the attaching of the sleeves, crocheting of the sleeves and then finally sewing the parts together. So let's begin. For the yarn I've used this Burnett blanket yarn. It's really really soft and I really like working with it. I've used 800 grams in total for this cardigan. Then I've used a crochet hook size 7 millimeters, some scissors and a tapestry needle. We begin with the back panel of this cardigan and we begin with the 6 millimeter crochet hook and a slip knot. So make a loop, take the long end of the yarn behind the loop and grab it from the middle with your 6 millimeter crochet hook and chain 8. So yarn over, pull through. That's two, three, four, and eight. Now we start working into these chains and we skip the first one. So do a single crochet in the second chain, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. That's your first single crochet. In the next chain, you will also do a single crochet. So do one single crochet in every chain all the way across. We chained up eight and we skipped the first one. So you should have seven stitches when you're done with this row. This is your final chain this out here that's your slip knot and you will never be working into this so this is your final single crochet and you count your stitches and you have seven now chain one and turn your work we will continue working in single crochet but from now on we will only be working through the back loop so skip the first one and work into the second stitch but only through the back loop so you have this is your back loop, this is your front loop. You will only be working through the back loop. So insert your hook in between these two loops, only through the back loop and do a single crochet. And in the next stitch, through the back loop, single crochet. Back loop, single crochet. Continue like this all the way across with one back loop single crochet in every stitch. And again, you should make sure that you got seven when you're done with this row. Then chain one and turn your work. Keep working like this. Skip the first one. Enter in the back loop of the second stitch and do a half and do a single crochet and just one single crochet in every back loop back and forth remember chain one every time you turn and skip the first one of every row work your way back and forth until you have 56 rows in total when we finish the last row we will now throw away this six millimeter hook and grab our seven millimeter hook then chain one and flip the work. So we will now start working horizontally along this brim. We will be working in these rows. So you see this is a row, this is a row, but there's also rows in between. You can see them on the back side. We will work one half double crochet into every row. 
So you begin with a yarn over and you insert your hook in the first row and grab your yarn, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Then for the next row, you yarn over, push your needle in through this next uh, row, then yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. And you find your next row right here. So you yarn over and insert your hook into this row and do a half double crochet. So do one half double crochet in every row all the way across. And then your first row looks like this. Then we chain one and turn the wick. Then we skip this one. And in this second one, we do a half double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook and do a half double crochet. Then we chain one and then we skip one. In this next one, you do a half double crochet. Then we chain one and then we skip one. In this next one we do a half double crochet. Then chain one, then skip one and do a half double crochet. Continue like this all the way across with chain one skip one, one half double crochet. After this first row, we chain two, one, two, and then we turn the work. We will repeat the first row, but we will now be working into these gaps. So we begin with a half double crochet into this gap. So you yarn over and then you insert your hook into the gap Wrap your yarn, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Then we chain one and do a half double crochet into the next gap. So yarn over, insert your hook in the next gap and do a half double crochet. Then chain one and do a half double crochet into the next gap. Then chain one and a half double crochet into the next gap. Then we create another row of holes, little gaps, continue like this all the way across. When you're at the end of the row two, you chain one and then you do your final half double crochet into this chain gap you did at the beginning. So insert your hook into this chain space and do your final half double crochet. Then chain two and turn your wick. Then we do a half double crochet into the first gap. Then chain one and do a half double crochet into the next gap. This is how we create these little gaps and we will continue like this. Just chain one and do one half double crochet into every gap. At the end of the row you do the final half double crochet into this chain space you did. And then you chain two and turn the work. Continue until you have 11 rows with these gaps. So just count the gaps all the way down. And when you have 11 rows, you begin with the firm part of the cardigan, the upper part of the back. So we finish up with a chain two and we turn the work.
Now we'll do one half double crochet in every stitch. So, one, two, and this one we will begin in, and this is our gap. So, a regular half double crochet, just work it into the gap. So, insert your hook in the gap and do a half double crochet. Then your next stitch will be on top of this stitch, so yarn over, insert your hook, do a half double crochet, and the next one will be in the gap. Then the next one will be into this one, And then one in directly into the gap. So we will just create one half double crochet in every stitch all the way across. And when you're all the way across, you chain two and turn the wick. And then count two. So skip these first two chains you just did. And do a half double crochet in your first stitch after that. And then another half double crochet. And continue like that. We will keep working in half double crochet back and forth for the rest of the back piece. So just one half double crochet in every stitch. Remember, chain two when you turn the work. And then work one half double crochet into each and every stitch back and forth. We will now do a front panel. So make a slip knot. And then chain eight. One, two, three, four, five six, seven, and eight. Begin from the second chain and do a single crochet. Then one single crochet all the way across. We will begin the bottom part of this front panel just like we began on the back panel. We're creating this brim so we will do exactly the same, just work our way back and forth. At the end here, you will do one chain, then turn the work, begin from the second in the back loop only, and single crochet. Work your way back and forth with back loop single crochet until you have 22 rows in total. Then we switch out the needle again to our 7mm hook and then chain one and start working horizontally just like the back panel. You will do one half double crochet into every row. So yarn over and do your first half double crochet in the first row. Then one half double crochet in the next row. And you should have 22 half double crochet when you're across. Then chain two and turn your work. Then skip these first two chains and work a half double crochet into the third chain into the stitch. This one. Then chain one, skip a stitch and do a half double crochet into the next one just like the back panel. Then chain one, skip one, and do a half double crochet into the next. This pattern is the same as the back panel, so you will work your way back and forth with this, uh, this pattern of gaps with a half double crochet, then chain one and skip one, and then another half double crochet at the end. 
the chain 2, turn the work and start working half double crochets into these gaps. And just like the back panel, you work 11 rows up with these gaps. Then after that you chain 2, turn your work and then work in half double crochet. Do one half double crochet in this first gap. And then another half double crochet into this one. And a half double crochet in the next gap. And so on. Just like the back panel, you work half double crochet back and forth until it measures 42 centimeters from the gap part to the top. That is 28 rows for me. Then we cut the yarn, leaving a long tail. And pull the yarn through. Oh, oops. <laughs> and then make another piece just like this one. So now you have your back panel and your two front panels. If you lay them down flat on the ground just like I did, you have your front panels in front of you and we will now attach them to the back panel by making a seam on the shoulder up here and also on the other shoulder right here. We will just use the long tail you left, remember, when you cut the yarn. I will do the mattress stitch when I sew them together. I think that is the best stitch to attaching <laughs> things. Um, I'll show you in a moment how to do the mattress stitch. When you're done uh, sewing, you have uh, a piece looking like this, almost looking like a little sweater. But don't worry, we will also make sleeves. When you want to do the mattress stitch, you put down your two pieces you want to sew together. And then you have your thread over here. You put your needle in between your two pieces and then from down and up the other side. On the other piece. Then again from this piece in between the two and from underneath on the opposite piece and up. And that's how you continue. You push your needle down in between the two pieces and from underneath and up the other side. This is the most invisible stitch I know, and I know it It holds. So you just continue like this, all the way across, until it's sewn together. And of course you do the same thing on the other side, on the other front panel. For the sleeves we will again grab our 6mm hook and make a slip knot. We will again begin with the brim, so chain 8, 2, 3, And eight. We will again begin from the second chain. So insert your hook in the second one. And then we slip stitch. So yarn over, pull through both. Insert your hook in the next one. Yarn over, pull through both. Do one slip stitch in each chain all the way across. And we began with a chain 8. And we skipped the first one, so we will have 7 stitches when we're done with this row. At the end of the row, we chain 1 and turn the work. Begin from the second stitch. Insert your hook through the back loop only, 
yarn over, pull through, pull through. So we will make this ripped cuff with slip stitches, seven stitches across, and we will keep working back and forth like this for 28 rows. So just one back loop slip stitch in every stitch for 28 rows. And then we got our cuff. Now we switch needles from the 6mm to the 7mm hook and then chain 2. And then we begin working horizontally. And we begin with a half double crochet in the first row. And then again in this one, one half double crochet. Doing the cuff in slip stitches makes it a little bit harder to go through these rows. But you just have to push your hook through some place it's possible. Just force it in. And that's one, two, three, four. And each time we've done four half double crochet, we will do an increase. So do one half double crochet in the same stitch. So where you just did the half double crochet, you will do another one. Then we will do another four half double crochet. Just one half double crochet in every row. That's one. Two. Three and four. And then another half double crochet in the same place where you just did the other one. So continue with one increase for every every fourth stitch until you got thirty four stitches all across. So that's row one of the sleeve. We now chain two and turn the wick. First we skip the first two and then work a half double crochet in the third stitch. And then we continue working in half double crochet. So just one half double crochet in every stitch all the way across. And we should now have 34 stitches in total. We will keep working one half double crochet in every stitch back and forth. When you are at the end, you chain two and turn your work. Keep working one half double crochet in every stitch for 21 rows, counting this one as your first, this one as your second, 21 rows up. Then our sleeve will look like this from the cuff on the bottom to the top, and this is my 21st row. I'm just finishing up. I have one more stitch left to go and I will do one half double crochet in the final stitch. But in this final stitch I will do another half double crochet so I yarn over and insert the hook in the same stitch. So two half double crochet in the same stitch in the final one. Then chain two and turn the work. Then we'll begin row 22, skip the two first chains, first two. In the third one, we do a half double crochet and continue with one half double crochet all the way across. When we're all the way across, we will do two half double crochet in the final stitch. So we will do an increase each time we are at the end of a row. Work your way back and forth. Each time you get to the end of a row, you do two half double crochet in the final stitch, then chain two and turn the work. Continue back and forth with one increase in every final stitch. 
I did 11 rows with the increase. So 11 rows with one increase in every final stitch. So you see the sleeve has gone wider at the end. You will now make another sleeve and then put them down flat on the ground just like I did here. And remember the middle part of the sleeve has to be exactly across the seam you made before with the mattress stitch. So the middle of the sleeve has to be exactly where the other seam is. So it, it will be even when you sew them together. Now you'll need to make a seam again with the mattress stitch all the way along the edge of the sleeve right here. And again on the other sleeve. I found it helpful to use stitch markers. When I put it down flat, then insert stitch markers and then begin with the mattress stitch. But now make a seam just like on the shoulder part. And after that we will now fold it. So it actually looks like a cardigan. We can now see the finishing line. You'll now make a seam all the way from the cuff up here, all the way down the sleeve into the armpit and all the way down the body. You will also do it on the other cuff, all the way down the sleeve and all the way down the body. So everything is sewn together. So now when all the things are sewn together, we have the the neck part here and we have the sleeves looking like this. And the sleeves are connected to the body right here. And then if we move down, we have the bottom part of the cardigan. And now all that's left is to do an edge all the way around here. So it has this final touch, this final finish. And it's looking sharp and ready to wear. So grab your yarn and your needle, sorry, your hook. It's called a needle in Denmark. But attach your yarn to the bottom part of the cardigan. Then chain one. And then we'll do one half double crochet all the way around. So you yarn over. Insert your knee hook. I don't know why I keep saying that. And a half double crochet. In every stitch. So just yarn over. Insert your hook. I know you are an expert in half double crochet. Just want to show you how I start. Just hope. Oh. That wasn't a half double crochet. You yarn over. There are three loops. So just one half double crochet in every stitch. So you have an edge looking like this. You see that's a lot more uh, finished looking that than an edge like this that's bumpy so you just do one half double crochet for every row so you see this is a row so you do a half double crochet right here and this is a row up here one half double crochet here and so on one here one here so just one half double crochet for every row all the way around you continue all the way up all the way around in the neck and all the way down the other side until you are back here. And then the edge is much nicer than before, much more finished looking. Go ahead, weave in your ends and you're actually done with this cardigan. I hope you found the tutorial easy to follow. If you did, Please press thumbs up and then subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you again soon. Bye!